two of my two tailed spiders laid egg sacs. And after that, the egg sacs hatched. It's time to separate the babies and to try out a new editing style. So basically what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do everything live in front of you guys and record on the iPad as well as on this phone. Without any further ado, let's get started with the video. So the first step will be to get the female outside. Here's the female, there she is. This is an epic close-up. Yeah, so two-tailed spiders, they belong to the family Horselidae. They are named after these two long spinnerets on their abdomen, as you can see, right there. Most of my two-tailed spiders ended up dying because I mostly just got adults and a mature male. So I'm just going to be reusing one of their enclosure, which is right here. Bam! There we go. I got her in. Okay, now for the next part of these shenanigans. Look at this over here. Here are the spiderlings. Okay, after filming the shots, I proceeded to rehouse as many spiderlings as I possibly could. It's a pain to film them. Alright, now since the first batch is done with the rehousing, I'm going to be rehousing the second batch. I'm going to be putting them in individual enclosures and it will be kind of a pain to film them, so I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, now I need to ask some help from you guys. If you guys know how to care for two-tailed spiderlings or two-tailed spiders in general, please comment your tips below because I would really benefit from them. Obviously, I'm doing my own research, but I would like to know your experiences on keeping two-tailed spiders. Well, that was a pretty interesting video, right? If you found it interesting, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down your tips on how to keep two-tailed spiderlings and don't forget to subscribe to ABSE in order to watch more content like this. For more updates in general, be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.